would you say is the difference between Canadian expression and American expression? Well, I think there's a big, much bigger British influence in Canada than there is in the United States. In the States, there's a tendency, just a tendency to get caught up in waves of trends. You know, when something is, is popular in the theater world, all over the world, the, at least my experience as, a, as an American person in drama, from especially from 18 until 30 when I, 31 when I moved here, was that, uh, you know, the Stanislavski method was, it just swept through all of the universities as a training technique. And then, you know, and then much, much later, uh, the Grotowski swept, swept through. I think that they get, they take it up. Whereas I think there's more of a conservative uh, bent to Canadian, um, and not that people in Canada don't try things, you know, they, mm -hmm. there's lots of wonderful experimentation. All the different influences that we have, I mean, even more now. Now, oh, our... much more now, but at that time, it was really strongly a British, when I came in the 60s, it was strongly a British influence, but now we have many more. A lot has happened in the 50 years. I mean, more than you would think. I think it's amazing. So what do you think about the state of theater in Canada now? I think it's really good. Is it alive? Oh, I think so. I think that, and I think the quality is so good, so high. And everything, and you know, the scene design, and, and uh, well, is it, you know, you're never satisfied. You always want things to be more something. Theater is not vital or necessary if it doesn't reflect what's happening in its in the society mm -hmm. in which mm -hmm. it's. Are we reflecting what's happening? Well, society? I think there's enough of that. Yeah, I mean, I think some of it, it, it. The way you reflect it is not necessarily to specifically write about that, but even the style in which you do it is a reflection of the theater. Can't help but being a reflection of what's happening. So it doesn't necessarily, the subject matter doesn't necessarily have to be Canadian for it to reflect Canadian society, I don't think. What is it called? Inse scorched? Oh, Wash the Moab. Yeah, yeah, that kind of a play. I think that reflects Canada in that it shows that Canadians are cognizant and care about those places in the world now because you wouldn't, do, you wouldn't produce the plays unless they got to you in some way, they reached you and you thought, oh, this is, maybe this is important or this speaks to me mm -hmm. because this is the human condition, just pushed to extremity.